Okay, we can't show you everything we're gonna talk about here, but we can show you enough to help you understand something that's very important, and that is mix consistency. You want each one of your layers here to be consistent, same height, and what you don't want is something like this. Now, primarily this is caused because of inconsistent mixing, and that's why it was important for us to develop a pre-mixer, uh, a water distribution mixer, and a pumping system that all work in unison uh, so that we can guarantee that the mix is the same every single time. Otherwise, uh, you'll end up with different variations like this, okay, down here, uh, and you just don't want this. Now, when you look at this wall, you can see that we're consistent every single pass. And this is a wall that's printed. This is the final uh, texture and look. You can get a variety of different looks with the printer. So here's a, a high slump. You can see how much smoother it is. But by reducing the amount of water or slump, you can come up with looks like this here. And it's interesting how different people uh, have different opinions about this. But we're just showing you, you can get a variety of different looks and we can show you how to do that. So you can see here, you can get a variety of different textures out of your wall itself. So you can have traditional, uh, and then you can finish it rough. You can finish it smooth wall. Something else that can affect the consistency of your wall begins actually with the drawing. And to show you this, uh, the internal mortar support here is designed incorrectly. It's actually encroaching into uh, your perimeter print. And that's this isn't too bad. You can see here, you're getting a little bit of a, a bump there. And that's what causes it. Because the mud, as it comes through here, the displacement of mud, is go, it's, it's gotta go someplace. And even though it's very slight, you'll have, uh, it's gonna affect the perimeter wall. Uh, here's a worse example, but you can see how in the design, it's coming clear out to here, okay, pushing into your perimeter print line. And this is what you're gonna get. So it's important that whoever's doing the drawing understands the effect of the drawing. Uh, now, if I wanted something that was very consistent in doing this, you could do it by design uh, but each one of these would have to be the same and it's plain where it crosses into your perimeter print right there. And you can get as, as smooth as you want to get. Okay, and you see down here, we have more of a sandy effect. If you're gonna finish the wall like this, it's a lot less critical what the perimeter is like. We could have taken this right here and done exactly the same thing. And then here, just playing around, shows you the flexibility, all the different things that you can do. The wall is actually very flexible. About 30 minutes after print, you can start playing with different designs and different looks. And you can even take something as simple as a steak knife, something like this, we've shown this video before and go in and cut any shape you want. This could be a logo, uh, this could be letters, you can back like this, and there's just so much that can be done. This is where it all begins. It goes straight from ideas to different types of prints, and that's what makes it so fun around here as we come up with different scenarios. One of the hardest things for us is people buying printers and then going straight back to uh, traditional ideas, square lines, straight walls. When the printer's capable of so much more, it's painful. But we understand that developers and contractors and craftsmen and so forth, uh, you know, they're gonna take some baby steps. But once everyone begins to realize the capabilities of the tool that they actually have and how marketable it is, how, how much it sets you apart from everyone else in the type of products you're able to offer. That's when we will begin to see amazing designs that 
no one has seen before. If you can think it and design it, the printer will print it. That's the thing. And that's what makes it such an advantageous tool. Uh, people are gonna be able to do amazing things with it. Stuff they've never even thought of before.